Hey guys, welcome to Rotor Riot. Today we're taking a look at the all new DJI FPV drone. This drone is made by DJI and it is more similar to our freestyle drone. So this drone is capable of all of the freestyle drone tricks that we do, but it also has some other beginner modes so it can fly similar to the other DJI camera drone set. Yeah, this is unlike a drone DJI has ever made before. Yeah. This can fly very similarly to the drones that they have made before, like the Mavics and the Phantoms with GPS hold, altitude hold, all the assistances that you might be used to if you've flown a DJI product before. But what makes this special is two things. You can pilot it. FPV, first person view with low latency. Not like the screen you're looking at the Mavic. Like in the goggles, full you're FPV in the goggles, goggles. mode. And you see the motion of the drone. Yeah. And all those flight assistances we were talking about, you can turn all that off. You can fly this thing in full acro. You can do flips, power loops, all the things that we do here on Rotorat that maybe you've never seen before. Maybe you're not familiar with what FPV means. And I think that's exactly what this drone is for. This is a drone created to help get people into FPV, to make it easy for them to fly FPV and ease them into the world of full acro drone flight. So I can't wait to get this thing in the air, but before we get to that, let's see what all do you get when you buy this drone. A lot of you guys have been waiting to see DJI come out with something like this. And personally, I am very interested to see. I'm going into this with no expectations. Let's get the box open and see what we got. Here we have the, uh, the DJI FPV drone. I'm gonna break all these components down. Looks like the same goggles. I believe there might be some differences, but visually speaking, they look the exact same. Ooh, okay, this is kind of slick. This is the uh, DJI FPV drone controller. I do really like the form factor. It reminds me of some other radios that are on the market. And then besides that, we got some props. We have B props and A props. One thing that can be really complicated when it comes to drones is figuring out what prop goes where. So on this one, I can already tell they've labeled it out of the box. You have B and you have A. I want to hear it boot up. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that was so cool. Looks like this is going to be our accessories. Boards. Looks like we have another pod. It looks like that's for the shell out here. So if you want to change the look of the shell, looks like we got some cords. What I find interesting, and I was very curious, the FPV goggles usually power off of a LiPo battery and it doesn't look like they've included a normal size LiPo battery, but they give you a cord. So this is actually really an awesome feature because normally in the past you have to use a LiPo battery, which for anyone who flies drones, it's no problem, but it looks like now you can power your FPV goggles through one of these guys. So I kind of like not having to dedicate drone batteries. And here we have our FPV antennas. These screw on to the DJI goggles. This looks to be a USB to uh, type C. These look like they are stick ends. They go on the side of the radio now. It looks like the radio comes with stick ends already. To put these on, they're really simple. They just screw on. So out of the box, it's got a flip up antenna. Really, really nice for being able to transport your drone because you want to fly with your antenna up like this. But when you're transporting it, you can pop it in like that. This isn't a new idea or a new concept. There's some drone controllers on the market that already do this, but I'm very happy to see DJI following the trend and incorporating it. The gimbals, um, they feel pretty good. DJI's gimbals have always felt really good to me. Um, I don't like how they don't have a lot of resolution. The more resolution you have, which is in theory, the more throw, control throw that you have, easier it's gonna be to make small movements. When you have kind of like smaller gimbals, it can be really, really hard to fly smooth. FPV goggle wise, um, these goggles look the exact same as the first ones. I was really hoping to see a smaller version of the DJI goggles. I know a lot of people have been holding off on buying goggles because there's been rumors of a V2. And I personally have gotten used to the size of them and I really love how beautiful the image and the screen is. So I don't really think about it anymore. However, it would be nice to see a more sleek goggle. I mean, they've shaved the controller size down, it looks like. So I would love to see this get smaller in the future. Finally, the drone, which I still don't know how to turn off. Looks like we have our FPV camera up here. I'm assuming this is going to be a pretty darn good camera and maybe upgraded from the previous one, considering it's all integrated. I'm assuming this camera is probably going to be pretty good. The motors look pretty good. They feel really good as well. Um, they're not your standard drone motor. They're very DJI proprietary. The props snap into place and it looks like that's pretty much the only way to do it. Besides that, it feels really rigid. It definitely feels heavy. So I'm very curious to see how this thing performs. That was great, Alex. Good job. Now we're gonna go fly with Jeff. 
<laughs> All right, so we're checking out some of the different flight modes that you have available here. This is your flight mode switch in the top position. That's normal middle position is sport and all the way down will be manual if you've done the things that you need to actually enable manual so right now it actually is still in sport so normal mode is pretty much like flying a mavic but yeah. uh, you know what's different though it does mixing so as you're going forward and you give it yaw it banks the turn okay and you see you the banking turn with happen. Just a yaw. yeah you don't need to use the roll sport modes just makes it faster and it enables cruise control. You get going fast or whatever speed you want, you can kind of pick your speed, hit this button here, this trigger, and now it's in cruise control mode and it just keeps flying forward and then I can just steer. That's kind of Actually, cool. just with one stick, but really you should train steering with two sticks. And what I find really interesting, this really is somewhat of an acro trainer because when you're flying a drone in acro mode, you tilt it forward and it just keeps going forward. And then when you yeah. roll and yaw, you carry your momentum around the turn and keep going forward. Right, and you have to pull back to slow down. Right. And what, what happens if you do pull back? Does it? It slows me down. Okay, so you still have stick brake. Like yeah, you have a also, stick brake, but you yeah. also have a brake brake. So yeah. let's say I get going forward and I get a little panicked. I'm like, oh crap, this trigger up here, hit that and it just, woo. Oh my, did you hear that? Yeah, you yeah, go, like, it slammed the brakes. It slammed the brakes so hard, I saw the frame coming to the camera view. <laughs> let me, yeah, let me let me swap out the battery for you. And... Oh, it's a little punchy. Yeah. The horizon's not flat. Oh, well, because you're flying in the wind, so it's actually... Oh, okay. It's position holding. It cooks? Oh, whoa, whoa, well, that is weird. That when you yaw, it banks. Right? Having done FPV for a while, it's... Like, I almost don't like that, but I think it will really help people understand that when you turn, you need to bank it. I see a lot of people struggle with that when they're just starting FPV. Woo! Are you in normal mode? Yeah. You are cooking in normal mode. Yeah, it goes. It has a augmented reality. There's an H where, where you land. Yeah, that's your home point. Isn't yeah, that crazy? That's pretty cool. Okay. 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 I kind of like it. Oh, it slowed me down because I was close. Oh, to the obstacle? Yeah. Do you want to try and run into something? Slow it down a little bit just in case, but I don't know. Yeah, think don't, it's don't let just me. blast into it. Wait. Oh, I hear it beeping. Yeah, it won't let me. I'm getting pretty damn close, though. I don't know. I pulled back. Should I try? It might let you do it. Like, it might be one of those things where it slows you down, but if you push forward, it'll let you do it. Now, don't try to hit it. Or at least if you're going to try and hit it, do it well, close where I can see it. Yeah. I'm not, I don't really want to, but it, it makes it obvious you're about to hit something. I'll mm -hmm. tell you that. Let me try sport mode. There. Okay. So Ooh. one down, there, then sport. Yeah, she's a little fast. Oh, yeah, she cooks. Oh, my ah! God. This thing's really fast. <laughs> and it is weird that you don't, it just like turbo boosts you because you don't have to tilt. That's yeah. kind of cool. It's I kind of so, like it's that. It's so counterintuitive. You're just like, <laughs> it was going faster the other way. Whoa! The wind favors the other way. If you're coming from a Mavic, this is gonna feel like significantly yeah, faster. Yeah, like insanely fast. And just the sound. It's weird that it sounds like one of our drones, but then like if you break, it does a Mavic move. Yeah, I just hit the brake. Oh, you got an e-brake. That's so funny. Oh, I did you return hit, home. Yeah, now. but here, hit it again, and that'll let you stay there. Have you tried the cruise control yet? No, that just works any time, right? Yeah, but you have one? to get, uh, it is oh, that one. this one, yeah. So if you start it and then you hit it. Yeah, cruise it. Yeah, you can just fly with one stick. That's all you need. <laughs> you just do that with one stick? Yeah. All right, fly through the awnings. Do it. Cruising, cruise control. I'm just doing the yaw, that's it, and I'm slaloming. It's easy to do slaloms. <laughs> so now it's all with one stick? Yeah. That's insane. This, this is like definitely the best trainer mode ever. Yeah, that's pretty cool. If you're comfortable with the speed, you can just get it going like really slow, just creeping along. That's something I did not think I was gonna like the cruising mode. When I was kind of reading through everything I had, I was like, yeah. I don't wanna cruise you, like you should fly it. But when you actually fly it, if you have any drone experience, it's weird how much you're natural instincts start to creep in because yeah. it it starts to emulate the look of it the way it right but it feels it. so weird because all you're doing is this but it, it was a little weird for me i was timid to drop down into a gap because it's a different 
It's not like I'm chopping the throttle. I'm telling it I want to go lower. Right. Well, and the other is thing it. is if you wanted to drop through a gap with one of our drums, you would also yeah, pitch, pitch forward, the nose look down. through it. Right. But this, the the camera is locked. Yeah, I wasn't confident it would drop down quickly, I mean, if you, which it probably would. If you want to get crazy, this dial actually changes the camera angle. Oh, yeah? So you could be flying, look down, and, and do it like that. I don't I, know about that, though. That's kind of wild. I want to play with that. Let me play with it. Okay. okay. That is kind of cool to be able to change the camera. For reveal shots, you gotta like think of it like Oh, you're, you're, thinking, you're thinking cinematic. Yeah, <laughs> cinematic. That's what this would be good for. It'd uh -huh. be good for cinematic FPV. That's kind of what they want it to be is like right in the middle. They want to take a Mavic and they want to take a pro-grade FPV drone and find that sweet spot right in the middle. It's a very weird thing to find a hybrid for because they're so drastically different. Yeah, I think because of the gimbal, I kind of that's why I like the cruise control. Because mm -hmm. it is a little weird, like, you don't have that fine control. Wait, like, what just happened? I don't know. I think low it's battery home. Oh, it's home. just low battery returning home. Can I override it? Come yeah, you can just... She does not like coming down. Coming down flat? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, today is an interesting day to, to have done this because it stayed really stable despite the wind. So how are you landing it? Just hold down altitude? Yeah. It's kind of easy to land, just... Land. I'm surprised how much you enjoyed flying it, given that you're like a very seasoned pro FPV acro pilot. Yeah, right? well, like, I'm gonna use it for what it is, right? Just to like enjoy the novelty of because I have a Mavic, mm -hmm. I, I don't use it a lot, but I've, I've flown it and it's I always want it to be that. It's pretty kind of cool. cool, and the fact that I can just cheater mode like I'm not that good at slaloms to begin with with my, my quad, right? I was almost doing them better just like, because it's doing so much of the work for me. Yeah, but ultimately I think someone who has never flown a drone before could like work their way through it. Like I think this yeah. has a really cool yeah, way Yeah, you'll to, be like, shooting train. gaps day one. That's nuts. I think. The DJI drone is capable of flying in full acro manual mode, just like the freestyle drones that folks like me are used to flying. But DJI knows that this drone is also gonna be bought by like your typical DJI pilot and they don't want those guys getting in trouble right out of the gate. So they make you jump through a few hoops in order to enable full manual acro mode. And the first hoop is that this rocker switch here which switches flight modes from normal to sport to manual mode. When you first get the drone, that manual mode switch is just sport mode. In order to change that, you need to go into the remote controller configuration in the goggles, go down to that custom setting and change the custom setting from sport mode to manual mode. When you flip that switch into manual mode, the drone will not immediately start flying in acro mode. Uh, rather, it will make you hold the throttle in a certain position, just a little bit below center, and it'll make you center the sticks. And the idea there is that they want you to switch into manual mode, acro mode, with the sticks in a position where the drone won't just like suddenly start flying to the moon. So they basically have you hold it in a hover position more or less. Once you do that, then it'll switch into manual mode and you'll be flying in acro mode. But there is still one more safety precaution that you're gonna wanna turn off if you truly wanna do freestyle flippy flops. You see, they ship the drone with an angle limit. And that means that if you go full stick deflection, say you go left roll or right roll, the drone will not actually do a loop, it will go to a certain point, stop and not go any further. In order to disable that, you're gonna go back into the controller config. You're going to go to the rates and expo section and down at the bottom there, there is a toggle to turn off the angle limit. Once you do that, you will literally be flying in full acro mode. By the way, that's also where you can change the rates if you want to adjust the, the rates to match your normal freestyle rates or to change the rates to make them faster or slower depending on what you need from the flight characteristics of the drone. Oh, so nice. when you get it in full true manual mode, your throttle will turn into a normal throttle. So to get to the screws, you peel back this like grip cover. Changing the tightness of the F1 screw changes how much the throttle will keep in position, like how much friction there is. So it's pretty loose right now, so look. If I just shake the radio, we got a little floppy throttle. Let's tighten that up a little bit. And now the throttle stays where I put it. The F2 is spring. So by changing the tightness of F2, you change how much force there is recentering the stick. In certain modes where there's altitude hold, you want that stick centered because the throttle stick is, isn't actually a throttle stick, it's an altitude stick. But when we fly acrobatic drones, this is actually a throttle stick. So we just want 
no throttle, all throttle. And see, I've still got a little bit of spring there. We want to get rid of all that. So with an aerial platform drone, you start and stop the motors with stick commands, right? On our FPV drones, we use arm switches. So we need to put it in M for manual. And now, if you do a stick arm, it's still not gonna be a manual. What you need to do is instead of doing a stick arm, you need to use this start and stop button and you double tap it. So tap, tap, and now it's armed. Ah, and then if you need to so. disarm, tap, tap. Hey, smooth. Got a little flutter. It's so weird seeing a drone that looks like that fly like one of our drones. Hey, that was so did you just split S it? Yeah. That's awesome. I'll open. This is so cool! <laughs> it's not the best tune, I can say that. It feels like a stock beta flight tune. This guy's so picky. Is there any pit tuning available in the going out of the water. Going over the fountain. Yeah. Well, it flies pretty good. I don't really feel like the latency or anything. I mean, definitely not the best flying drone I've ever flown, like, you know, felt. I will say flight time, I think I'm looking at my battery and it says I got 58% or it tells me how much time I have left, which yeah. is really awesome. So it's kind of estimating. So right now it says I got about four minutes left, which I I'm ripping it. I have to fly the other DJI camera for comparison, but I will say this camera, I like it a lot. I don't know what the latency is or anything, but it doesn't feel late. It looks better to me, but that could just be the lens, which I think it is different on this. The colors look really good to me. As someone who would be getting into FPV, like getting into FPV drones is perfect. Because this fly is just like a five inch quad. It feels heavy, because it is. It's about 800 grams. I looked at the manual. Power is really good though. Like, I'll be used to that. My quads are usually heavy. This will feel very similar to you, Drew, to, to your quad, Drew. And the flight time is great. I like to, I'm just gonna come into a hover. I'm gonna try this. Being able to adjust the camera. Okay, that is so cool. So I can adjust the camera tilt there. So if I was, let's say, for filming. Is it preset or is it? No, I can adjust it. I can, and it, but it's it's holding its angle, right? So here we go. I'm in a hover, and now I'm raising the camera up to, and it tells you the angle as well, while you're in acro. So let's say I'm doing a, let's say in theory, Drew, I'm doing a shot where I'm chasing a um, an object. Let's say it's a, a pretend it's a skier here, and I'm gonna try and go in front of the object. Well, with our normal drones, we can't adjust the camera tilt in the air. So like I'm chasing the object, but when I get in front of him, I want to lower. Okay, this is sick. So I can lower my angle now and fly backwards. That is sick. That is the coolest That's thing on cool. this so far. That just opens up so many doors. So you can just like you can be here. Watch. I'm gonna go like uh, I'll go back gently backwards to this. So I have my camera tilt raised. Now I'm lowering it with my left finger. That is cool. That is cool because you can fly backwards now without the camera looking up at the sky. That's so wild. So you could be like just super left. low camera angle doing some yeah. crickets backwards and then whip it around, raise the camera way up and do a Matty flip. <laughs> That's honestly the coolest thing. I'm honestly really having fun with this. I was a bit pessimistic when I saw how heavy the drone was and everything, but it flies really, really well. I think there's going to be pilots in the FPV community who complain that it's like not the most well-tuned drone or the most powerful, but just from a person who enjoys flying freestyle and cruising, the features on this, it, it feels like a Mavic version of an FPV drone. And for anyone who's gonna complain about latency, which I am that person who would complain about latency, the latency feels really good on it. I'm not saying it's race capable, but I'm not a wild fan about the controller. Like I wish I had uh, could fly with the other DJI radio and maybe that's a possibility. I would prefer that. I have been flying this thing forever. How long, how long have I been flying? Go up in the air, okay. flip upside down, and, and then do... and flip it into a position hold mode. All right, so you're upside down. Oh, oh my gosh, it just, saved, it it just saved it. It just what? saved itself. And it's like, amazing. Yacht. Oh, it says low battery return to home. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's not pretty it's fast. Sick. It's way faster than a Mavic. <laughs> it does a better job of landing than you do. <laughs> it does. It does way better. Okay, I'm going to sound really biased saying this. I really do like it. Would it be like, <laughs> My normal freestyle drone? I don't know, maybe, like, what? I... Like, you would not serious. use it to make this no, your no, no, normal no, 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 freestyle no. Listen, drone. Listen, what? listen, I was able to fly around for, what, eight minutes at least? Maybe more, ripping it around, cruising. The camera is definitely better, in my opinion, than the one that we normally fly, which is just the normal DJI FPV camera. So I love the camera on there. I didn't... I was expecting a ton of latency. Didn't feel a ton of latency. I do love the OSD on this, too. The OSD font is amazing. It tells you where home is. Having those features, like, listen, it's kind of would be a nuisance if you were just out flying freestyle a lot, I think. I did enjoy it a lot, and I would definitely keep it in my arsenal to fly. And I definitely have some people in mind who don't fly FPV typically who I would really want to fly. It's because I feel like you can actually fly FPV very easily, so.
Sounds like a new person would really enjoy it. Oh my gosh, if this, this is a perfect draw for a new person. Yeah. I'm going to sound such a shill. I, I, I genuinely, <laughs> I gen, like, this is perfect for a new person. So I've been wanting to get my mom into the hobby, and she has basically no flying experience, and I'm going to teach her to fly with, with this DJ. Do you think she's going to be able to fly? I think she will. Oh, no, I'm I, got, I got this, I got this. You got, got this. this. Okay, I got this. Oh, oh you're turning. Oh, I'm doing it. And this is my mom, FPV Mama. Hey. And she has been super supportive of me flying my FPV drones. I've been wanting to get my mom into FPV so she can experience the awesomeness of it. I think that this DJI FPV drone is a perfect drone for her because there's a bunch of like beginner features and stuff. Pitch. Okay, now. Okay, you see those leaves, right? I see the leaves. So, so go away from the leaves. <laughs> okay. Then. Go away from so the leaves. So that means yeah. I have to roll. Yes, to move yourself yes! away from it. Okay, okay, all right. I get it. Now go forward. Forward. Wait, 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 wait. I just forgot which way. So, okay, pitch is the right side. Remember, your objective is trying oh to gosh. go around the trees. Which trees? There's A so any many. Tre okay. Any trees. <laughs> All right. So, like, you can, you can, like, so if you want to, you can stay in one place. Don't do that. Don't, oh, don't what? try to go don't backwards. Don't do what? Okay. Turn. I'm not. <laughs> turn so where you can, so you can see where you're going. Okay. All right. Turn. Uh, so I'm trying. Yeah. To... Use your yaw to yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Always go okay. forward. I want to go this way and below that tree. Okay. I need to use pitch more. Somehow yes, you need to use pitch more. I, yes, I feel like I'm just, okay, all so right. That, so, so, so now try this. Okay. Now while you're going forward, okay. now try to give it yaw and roll, and then you'll be yaw turning. Yaw and roll in the same direction? Yes, while okay. you're turning, while you're going, while you're going forward. Oh, so, that's so cool! So now you're, <laughs> you turn. Oh my god, you did this is like turn. the coolest thing ever. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the best. Oh my gosh, Bubby, you should see what I just did. Oh my gosh, you would be so proud. Okay, wait, stop, watch. I'm gonna go through that gap. Yes, that go through, I'm going through, through the gap, gap. Bubby style. Go through that gap. Okay, I'm, I'm going through that gap. When you're gap, you're gonna make sure you're going straight through the gap. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Ah! Oh! Ah! Don't go up. Ah! Mom, don't go up. Oh. Don't go up. Mom, mom, okay, disarm. Okay, okay, disarm. Disarm. Okay. Caleb, that was amazing. Ah, you're gonna break the antenna. It's just the antenna. That was. Awesome! I can't believe I just did that. That was amazing. I didn't say it. all the features are like a Mavic, yeah, but like FPV, yeah. which is not good for my job <laughs> of like <laughs> right. being hired for very specific talents. I do think that it's obviously not the. I don't, the but same. I don't think this replaces talent. I think it makes it easier for people to build that talent. But ultimately, you have to know what you're doing. I agree because you're how... not going to get those shots in the assist modes like to get true like really high quality fpv shots you need to fly in manual mode and that's still going to take some practice i know he makes it look easy I was back flipping, trying to go through the tree, and I hit the tree. Then one piece. All four of the lights are working. Prop. One prop's gone. These props are bent. Plastic is fine, though. Yeah, it's okay. Props. You know, we can deal with props. Many of us didn't get them into the It's kind of cool to, like, still take your hands it's kind of like a Tesla. Like, it drives itself. You can put it in, like, track mode. This goggle battery is too low. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Stop What's it. it doing? It's trying to fly home because I unplugged the goggles. Oh, my God. Look, it's got a spotlight. Guys, watch out. Oh, oh my God. It's got a spotlight. <laughs> okay. So, just a heads up. That's so cool. 
I unplugged the goggles because the goggle battery was getting low. Sick, the spotlight is so The spotlight is so sick! It is awesome. I love the spotlight. Okay, so just a heads up. Don't unplug the goggles while you're flying. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I figured it had position hold. Um, and then I could just change my goggle battery real quick, but that upset it. So if you unplug the goggles, it yeah, takes that as a fail safe. So that's good to know. Oh, the spotlight on the ground is so awesome. Is the spotlight yeah. still Oh on? my gosh. All right, so check this out, Sean. Ready? Boom, purple. Oh, oh yeah, yes. you can change it. Yes. You Make can it green. change it. Make it green. It's got to be green. Green for oh. Sean. Oh, green for Sean. Yes. Green for Fast Sean. Fast and the Furious. Oh, oh, he wants to see blue. Oh, they don't have blue. <laughs> just kidding. Blue for Ben I love That's that. That's freaking cool. That's freaking so yes, cool. I was hoping you could change the color. This is the best part of the drone so far. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wait, wait. Forget I, about all the other stuff. The colors are the most important wait, part. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, you can make the phone can, color too. That's so cool. You can turn those on and off. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, look it is. It's doing, it's doing, <laughs> doing things. That is so cool. All right, that's nuts. Look at that. It does a thing. Like, oh my god, that's, that's so, so cool. cool. Oh, it gets on me for being obsessed with, like, the adjustable camera angle or whatever, and he's over here and says, like, lights. <laughs> the lights! <laughs> so what's the best way to go from unboxing this to flying in acro mode? The first thing I'd say you should do is take away the centering on the throttle stick right out of the box. Even though you're not gonna get to actual acro mode for a little bit, I'd say get used to it. When you're flying an FPV drone, you don't have centering on the throttle. And that's gonna be something that if you're used to flying a Mavic or a Phantom, that might take a little bit of getting used to. So I'd say right away, get rid of it and get used to flying without it. And it will teach you throttle control. Get comfortable flying around in normal mode and then get your way into sport mode. And once you're in sport mode, getting used to those higher speeds, this might sound weird, use the cruise control mode. There's no cruise control on our drones. It does not really emulate how we fly our drones, but it does provide you with the feel. And what I mean by that is when you're flying in acro mode and you tilt the drone forward using the pitch stick and you return the pitch stick to center, the drone keeps flying forward. Cruise control simulates that feeling because you get going forward, you turn on cruise control and it'll just keep going forward. And then you steer it at that speed and you need to slow it down. It does not come to a stop when you center the stick. The next step would be really force yourself to move both of the sticks while you're turning. Something I don't like about this drone per se is that it builds in the banking to the yaw stick. So you can just steer this drone around only using yaw input and as it goes around the turn it automatically rolls to bank the turns for you which i mean it's good because it gets you used to the visual of that happening you need to learn that you need to do that yourself in manual mode if you are in manual mode going forward and you just give it yaw you can do that you need to give it equal roll next step from there would be Use the SIM. DJI has a SIM built into this whole system that you can fly with the goggles, with your radio and everything, and you can practice in manual mode in the SIM with virtually no consequences. You're not gonna be crashing your real drone. So from there, get used to flying acro mode. And honestly, if you get very proficient flying in manual mode in the SIM, you're not gonna have any problems. But let's be honest, you're gonna rush it. You're gonna feel like you know what you're doing and you wanna go straight to manual mode. That brings us to the final step. Put the drone in manual mode and keep your finger on the panic switch. The most impressive thing about this drone to me is just how well the panic switch works. You can be cooking at 60 miles an hour, flip upside down and go, I don't know what I just did, help! Hit the button and it goes, and it just stops. It really just, it stops, it's crazy. Follow all these steps. It's kind of a weird set of steps. It's not really a set of steps that DJI outlined, but these are the steps that we think will yield the best success. We've been making videos for a long time about flying FPV drones because we think it's an amazing hobby, but it's always been a hobby that's been pretty difficult to get into because of how difficult it is to build the drones and how difficult it is to fly the drones. And this is a solution that leapfrogs you past both of those barriers and gets you flying right now. And eventually you'll be doing your own maintenance. You'll be flying a full acro drone and you'll be getting the full FPV experience. And this is a great way to start on that journey. I just really want to throw that.